Hi folks, I thought I'd do a video on how I clean records. Um, I just got back from the Salvation Army store and I acquired a few album. As you can see, I acquired about, uh, let's say about 25, 30 albums here. Uh, first I just wipe them off, wipe off the dust off the albums and then get them ready for cleaning. Um, before I do that, I'd like to uh, tell you how I used to clean my record. Um, I would use AVIS um, cleaning fluid and some dishwasher I used to use and then I use uh, Aquafina uh, water for my nitty gritty cleaning machine. I just put just the Aquafina in the, in the nitty gritty. I never use any chemicals in my nitty gritty machine. Uh, I think just the water is, does a good job of cleaning the record after I use my chemicals in the pre in the pre stages. After a while, I could not tell the difference between the AVIS uh, fluid and the other commercial fluids I've used because I did A/B testing and I, I still could hear the clicks and pops from the record. So I said, uh, "Why not make my own?" So I make my own brew as you can see old gal old gallon of, of fluid here I have and I also used steam cleaning. I think the steam cleaning worked pretty well. But it, the old process that process took a long time to do. And I had a brush I get from the drugstore. I used to just uh, spray the water on top of my chemical rather on top of the record and then use my brush and scrub it then uh, vacuum it off in my with the nitty gritty machine now this is a lazy Susan this is a lazy Susan and I bore a hole in the middle and put a piece of uh, metal there to hold the record uh, securely then I put a, a microfiber cloth on top of it so that's how I used to clean my record, but now I have a new process. I have streamlined my process to make the whole thing go up much, much quicker. Uh, so what I did, I went out and I got a spin clean. A spin clean machine. So my process now is goes like this. I got the record, put the record in the spin clean. Then let it drained off, put it on my Lazy Susan, I pick up this uh, microfiber sponge at Home Depot, so that's very cheap, so we just damp off the record, dump off the, the chemicals off the, web, off the record, do that on both sides. Then put the record on the nitty gritty machine, and away I go with cleaning. Now it's just going to pump it up. And just it goes on. I, let it, I usually let it go around about four times on each side. But for this drill, I'm just going to go a little quicker so you get the idea.
Now, I'm not saying that the commercial cleaner doesn't work. Um, all I'm saying that I just couldn't justify the price and I couldn't really tell the tell a big difference in with their cleaning and with my cleaning. So I just brought my own stuff. Um, and I think it does a good job. And that's how I clean my records. Thank you for watching YouTube. Bye.